I'm Brian Scotto, welcome to Bolts. Hey guys, this week I'm gonna be apparently taking bolts out. So, there's that. I had every intention of uh, reassembling the engine for, you know, all the parts that I got right now, but um, ran into some issues, so enjoy this episode of Bolts. Welcome back. I look like shit. I need a haircut. This dude passed out on my couch this weekend. YouTube Mike here. Been drinking, been eating, living. Other than that, we're gonna start putting some parts on this thing. It's Friday night, I just partied a little bit. Obviously, you gotta do something with my face. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, that's better. So, one more thing I need to get. So while we got everything off the engine, I'm gonna go run and get some uh, easy outs or bolt extractors or whatever. I think I'm going to Lowe's, so I think the product they have is actually called Speed Out. Um, either way, it's just to remove these um, broken off bolts. So while everything is off the engine, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, and hopefully I don't screw it up. This one shouldn't be too hard. Um, this one is a little bit trickier. So know that there's an extractor kit out there. Um, I have no idea how much that costs and I kind of want to do this today, so we're not going to bother with that. Um, hopefully I don't screw this head up. If I do, we'll figure out where to go from that. Um, but, that's where we're at, so I'm going to go get that kit and we'll be back. So, um, here's what we went out for. This is what you can get at Lowe's. I bought it, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Because uh, these are for screws, and we're talking about bolts that probably have Loctite on them. So, I don't know. Well, I, I got it anyway because it was cheap. Um, but AutoZone had a bolt extractor set. So I went ahead and picked that up too. Um, this is what I'll probably be using. They also had a stud extractor, so for that bolt that's snapped off near the top, this will probably be super easy. I probably don't need this at all to get it out, but why the hell not? Alright guys, got one side out, got one more bolt to do on this side. This little extractor guy works super well, love it, um, but it only works for if you break the bolt off and there's still a stud left. This one sucked, uh, I think I got the formula down now, so hopefully this side won't take me three hours. Well, this isn't y'all's planned at all. Legit, starting to feel like Brian Scotto. Maybe this is just gonna be an episode about a bolt. Um, it's been three hours, maybe. Uh, I can't get the damn thing out. I broke an easy out. One of these. So we broke this easy out, trying to get the shit out. And then I had to spend another hour trying to get the broken part of the easy out out of there. So, I don't think I've eaten today, um, I probably need to do that, I hit it with some PB blaster, maybe it's just stuck, I don't know what the hell's going on, but um, so far, the only thing I can really do, what I've been doing, 
Which is all bad, and I broke this ratchet for sure. Hopefully I win that Rad Dan contest and uh, get some gear wrench stuff. Cause that would be sick, but I just, I broke this beating on it with a hammer. I got this easy out in this socket, pushing it in while turning it with the sledge. It was just fucking exhausting. And um, yeah, I'm about to give up. Um, unfortunately, this is the head that is attached to the engine stand, so I can't even take the head off to go get it machined without pulling the whole engine off. So everything is a pain in the ass right now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take a break, come back to it. Uh, pretty much wasted the whole day on this. So. Really sucks, but what can you do? Um, I'm gonna keep at it. Hopefully we'll get something done this weekend. Oh my god, handful of chips later, we got it out. These fucking bolts, dude, I swear to god. Probably would have helped if I was centered on it. So like I said, they make a kit out there that um, has this bracket that attaches, bushings, helps you drill pilot holes and all this crap. I don't know how much it is. I'm sure you have to order it online. Get it if you want to get it. It's probably a lot easier to use. Um, but we got it out, so on with the rest of it. Anyway, thanks for watching this week, guys. Uh, next time, we'll start assembling everything. Sorry it took so long to get those bolts out, but hey, what can you do? Thanks again, guys, for tuning in this week. Um, next week, we'll definitely be getting some stuff together. Um, real quick, just to recap kind of what I did figure out from this, um, get yourself a really good drill bit. Uh, like a, I have, I had some uh, brand new Dewalt drill bits. They're probably not even for metal, but they had fresh everything on them, like the fresh tip on them. Brand new, right? Really good quality ones. Pretty hard. Um, I'm sure I wore them out. The ones that I did use, and I definitely broke a couple of them, but they're way better than the ones in the AutoZone kit. Uh, the AutoZone kit is basically garbage. Um, it was twice as much as the speedouts, and the speedouts actually work. Um, although I did break one uh, that was from hammering it, which you're not really supposed to do, but I was frustrated and out of options. So. Speed out kit works. It's cheap. It's cheap enough to break and keep buying them, um, or preferably just don't break them. The one of the ends on it that's used to kind of drill out a screw head. Um, it works, but it's not gonna work as well as a brand new drill bit. Um, so you want to get some depth to it before you kind of burr it out. That's kind of what I figured out. So use a really small drill bit, get it like a quarter of an inch down there, use like the smaller size, use a smaller size um, like burring tool from the speed out, and then grab one size up of that, flip it over, and use that uh, extractor bit. Um, definitely seemed like it would work a lot faster and easier to do it that way than any other way. I wasted like an hour actually trying to figure out how to drill into the bolt um, because everything that I bought that I was trying would barely even
get any depth to it. So that's that's my one tip from that, um, just based off of what I learned in this video. Um, but other than that, guys, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the first episode of Bolts, then go watch other videos. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> share it with your friends. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.